Shut up and sit down. Hello, world. Welcome to our channel, where we take a closer look to anything and everything. Nothing is off limits. This is Everything Electrified with Hibba and Jane. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the smart summons feature. This is my 2021 Tesla Model 3. We'll take a look, is it a gimmick or is it worth it? When can you use it? Let's go ahead and find out. If you take a look here, we have a drone shot. The drone will show us what we see above. We also have a shot inside the car. You can see the wheel turning. You can see how the car is reacting. And then we have another shot in the bottom right corner that shows us what we see at eye level. So you can see the car turning around, reversing. Um, it doesn't take an effect that there's lines there. It doesn't see an object, so it just goes through the lines, no issues. Comes right to us. It looks like Smart Summon actually worked here pretty well, no problems. Now we're going to move ahead to the app to see what it looks like in the app. If you see, it's a very small radius on where you can actually use this feature. So that means you have to be really nearby your car. You can't really summon it without looking at the car. So this is the same view. If I press the go to target button, you can see the arrow moving. It's turning around very, very slowly. And this is something that you can see in the app itself. So the car doesn't really reach its target that I have set up. It goes there very, very slowly and it takes a sweet time getting there. Now we're gonna try from a different side of the parking lot. We'll have it on the opposite end and see how well it does there. If you look at the movement of the car, it doesn't look like how a normal person would reverse out or turn. You can see there's no objects anywhere near the car. So it should be a very easy reverse and turn maneuver, which the cars is having a really difficult time with for some reason. The car is having a very difficult time for some reason to just reverse and come forward. It should be a very easy maneuver for any driver. Not sure why the computer is having a difficult time. And then if you look at the wheel, it's constantly turning and second guessing itself. is going in and out. Look at the wheel turns right there. And then it just stops and gives up a little bit. Look at that. It tries, it tries, and then it just stops. Let's take a look at how it was inside the car when it was reversing. So if you look at the wheel movement, that's not a normal wheel movement that a regular driver would have. Not sure why there's so much wheel, wheel movements happening right now. It feels very unnecessary, especially when there's an empty lot. And every time you hear the signal, it means it's trying to turn that direction. So listen to all the signal sounds that is happening. very very slow even though there's nothing in the parking lot it's very very slow now if you look at the wheel movement 
back and forth, back and forth with the turn signal. It's not turning, but there's a turn signal. Still moving it like crazy. So overall, in the end, when would you ever use this feature? Me, personally, I wouldn't. You have to be so close nearby the car, which doesn't make sense why you would need to summon it. It's part of a gimmick. Is it really worth the $200 a month or $10,000 fee to get this type of a gimmick? No, not really. Stay clear of this one, guys. It's the software is just not there. And that's all I got for today's video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment what you like to see. We have more videos coming up for Teslas. We have some already out. We also have a podcast where we go in depth with everything with Teslas. So go ahead and check those out. And until then, see you on the next one.